Good morning. This is uh, Wednesday, January 27th, and I'd like to begin by wishing Lori Clark a happy birthday. I hope you have a great day, Lori. Have Josh take you out somewhere and uh, we'll give you a nice dinner. Happy birthday. Uh, today's devotion is called Look Again and Think. This is Matthew 6, 25. Do not worry about your life. A warning which needs to be repeated is that the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust for other things, these will choke out the life of God within us. That's Matthew 13. We are never free from the reoccurring waves of this invasion of life. In the front line of attack, and it's not about clothes and food, it may be about money or lack of money, or friends or lack of friends, or the line may be drawn over difficult circumstances, but it's always one steady invasion. And these things will come upon us like a flood unless we allow the Holy Spirit of God to raise up his banner against them. Very important that we remember the Holy Spirit and his power. That will raise the banner against these things that would come at us like a flood. I say to you, do not worry about your life. Our Lord says to be careful only about one thing. That is our relationship to him. But our common sense shouts loudly and it says that's silly i must consider how i'm going to live and i must consider what i'm going to eat and what i'm going to drink jesus says you must not beware of allowing yourself to think that he says this while not understanding your circumstances he does get us he knows exactly where we stand jesus christ knows our circumstances better than we do and he says we must not think about these things to the point he doesn't say, don't be responsible, but don't think about them to the point where they become the primary concern of our life. In other words, do we allow, say, a wayward teenager or a wayward child to constantly take up our thinking, wherein we don't have time for God stuff anymore? Whenever there are competing concerns for our lives, be sure you always put your relationship with God first. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. That's Matthew 6. In that uh, scripture, they're walking down the road and they have supper. And Peter asks, what about breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> and Jesus says, just eat the Big Mac that you have in your hand. That's good. Don't worry about breakfast. Just enjoy the Big Mac. How much trouble has begun to threaten you today? How much of it has begun to threaten your life today? What kind of mean little demons have been looking into your life and saying, what are your plans for next month? What are your plans for next summer? Jesus tells us to not worry about any of these things, but look again and release to him. Keep your mind on the much more of your heavenly father. Uh, we need to have regard and awareness for the things that he teaches us and regard and awareness for the things of life, but we cannot lose our focus. We cannot allow life, because we're going to have life. That's what Oswald said. It's going to keep coming up against us in waves. But when it starts to feel like that, we need to raise the banner of the Holy Spirit and remember that we stand under that banner. So the challenge I have today for us is, can we find peace? Whatever may be transpiring around us today, can we find peace? And that happens by raising the banner of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, today. I thank you for the warnings from our Savior to not allow the things of the world to so inundate us that uh, we forget to serve you, and they begin to take the place of the things that we would do for you. So be with us today, Lord, as we can raise a banner to the Lord. In his name, be overcomers. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.